Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar. In this video, we're going to be looking at a train set from the 9 volt train era, the train wash. I got it right here. We're going to be taking a look at that. Why doesn't Lego make train accessories anymore? It's really puzzling. Uh, we're also going to be looking at some of the updates I have. I'm looking over there. I've added some new shelves, working, still got more work to do that. I spent most of the day uh, setting those up. Uh, well, not most of the day. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to show you that. I got a package today, which I, is from Bob. So we're going to find out what's in this package as well and talk about where I was two years ago, something I was doing. So let's open this package, see what's in here. Hopefully I won't tear it. It feels like it's got stiff cardboard, like it's protecting something. Looks like an instruction or a picture. It's a picture. Hold on. So we'll look at the letter first. It says, Dear Bricks Art, I wasn't sure if you have ever received something like this, but I wanted to show you a picture of the Lego creation I helped recreate with parts from your store I purchased earlier this year, which was last year now. <laughs> I thought it would be nice for you to see the magic of creation that you help participate simply by having your BrickLink store available for all of us avid LEGO fans. Now, this was the minifigure set 3723. You guessed correctly that I was building it when you saw the parts I had ordered from your store several months ago. He is now displayed prominently in our LEGO room, the basement, and greets everybody as they come down the stairs and offers his hand in friendship holding up your red brick czar brick. Oh, i got to show you all that. I'm going to get to it. Also, in the picture is my six-year-old daughter, Emma, who also loves to build Lego and watches your YouTube videos with me nearly every day. She will be tickled incredibly if you could show the picture on one of your videos as she wants to be on a YouTube video so badly. <laughs> so, Emma, my wife Amy, and myself want to thank you for all you do for the community with both your BrickLink store and your YouTube videos and want you to know how much you are appreciated. Keep up the good work and keep up your upbeat and positive enthusiasm for our shared love of Lego. We will be loyal fans forever. May you and your family have a happy holiday season, a prosperous 2011. Bob, Amy, and Emma Glass. So let's show you. This is going to go in my collection of stuff that people have sent. There's sweet Emma and the Lego minifigure, and he's got stickers on his, and if you look really close, so he's holding a brick czar brick right there. Nice, Emma. That she, Look at that smile. It's so sweet. <laughs> I love it. So thank you so much uh, for sharing this with me. That really makes my day. Um, and I do have a file, and I'll probably do something at some point this year. I have a file of letters and pictures that people have sent me. And I do like people sharing the pictures. Um, usually they'll sell it, share it digitally, but this is neat having one that I can keep in my own uh, collection. So thank you so much, Emma, Bob, and Amy, and um, glad you got the uh, minifigure built there. <laughs> There's mine. My stickers are in bad, bad shape. I'm I'm actually looking at getting some uh, third-party stickers, possibly to replace it. I may try to peel those off and put them in something to protect them. Those are the original stickers, but uh, yours is looking sharp right there. Today's T-shirt is Mystery Science Theater. Uh, the cheesy what was this called? Oh yeah, the uh, the gr great cheesy movie circus tour so we did the uh live show with joel and we that's probably the i think it's the last live that they'll do uh we really we've gone the last three times they've had the live shows but we uh, mr science theater is a big part of the channel if you go back and look at all my early videos when youtube gave that feature where you could put an intro a short intro at the beginning of all your videos uh, i use the Mystery Science Theater intro, uh, which turned into my sick fig later on. So that's why you see those uh, Crow, T Crow T Robot, Tom Servo, and the guy in a red jumpsuit <laughs> at those intro at the intro of those videos. That intro actually was not made though. 
if you watch, it's like watching uh, Star Wars. <laughs> if you saw Star Wars in the theaters in 1977, it looked a little different than what you would see now. Uh, that's the way the early Brickstar videos are. Uh, that intro was not there until, I want to say, almost a year later, whenever YouTube added that feature where you could add short intros. And now it's permanently locked in there, those intros. But yeah, so this is the great cheesy uh, something tour. And now I can't wear this shirt again the rest of the year. So this set is from the 9 volt train era. It's right in the middle of that era. It's in 1999 this came out. It's at 4553. It's train wash. And I really can't say I understand this uh, set. <laughs> I, mean, I understand that it's for washing the trains, but this little flat car that's in here, like some kind of utility car, we'll look at it a little closer. And these vehicles that are the train wash, they look like they're portable and can actually go on the train track. So that's also kind of weird. Uh, and I think they're to be converted to other tools here. And that's what's in the flat car. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, as usual, we got a Paradiso mustache guy. They All through the 90s, seems like every set had one of those. And you either had that or sunglasses. There you go. So they got their little tools here, the drill, the oil can, all you know, the usual stuff, the wrench, the hammer. There's a couple other tools actually on the flat car. Another wrench and a screwdriver. We'll look at that a little closer, but this is the train wash and this little piece, the little cars can come off of this um, like that. It's just not the most secure setting and then you can run the train through there like that. I should get more track. Oh, it actually works pretty nice. So that's the train wash. And then these little cars, you can put them on the track if you want to. And you can take out uh, these parts here and substitute in the front. So the brush it connects to that pin right there. You can take that piece off and just set the headlight thing on there. Now we got a little snow plow. I guess. I don't know. Uh oh, the piece connects on there like that. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Probably not. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. Probably some device for torturing somebody. It's like right perfect height. Ah! Yeah, I guess that's what it's for. But yeah, that's what you can tra change these out, apparently, to these. I guess that's what this flat car is for, is for carrying these parts. Um, put them back in there. You just go right back in there. It's like the, the working crew stuff there. So that's the flat car, 4553. Actually has this buffer uh, that you can make out of your own pieces. Uses a little train uh, buffer, bumper, whatever you want to call it there. Uh, pretty cool. It's got some monorail supports to hold the aqua sign. Which is interesting. Uh, those were in the monorail sets, but um, I don't know if the monorail was still in stores by 1999. I doubt it. And two straight tracks and a half base plate. Uh, 16 by 32. That's about all there is to this set. But it's actually a pretty neat little um, nine volt train set. I wish Lego made more accessories like this for the trains. So why am I showing you this? All right, this is an unbuilt shelf here. Uh, these are made by Waylon, not Waylon Jennings. I uh, picked these up at Costco. About four of them. I have three of them assembled so far. So I don't know if I showed this part of the basement. I think I did in recent video. Might have been. Oh, it was in the tour, the January first video. Uh, so i got three of them, they, and these are so, the same basic shelves as the ones I already had. This is where all the Star Wars stuff is. I just kind of slid it over here. I don't necessarily know if this is where I want to put it. Uh, that's just where I put it for now, because I, I need to slide this shelf to meet this. And I tried to think about how I wanted the spacing. So the spacing on oh, these new ones is a little different than the old one. Uh, I made it where... 
the large Sterilite containers will fit there without too much wasted space. So I can put the large ones all along the bottom. And that's what I, uh, I'm going to have to lower this shelf and lower this shelf, I think about one rung, and then they match up. And the thing I like about these shelves is if I decide to do this, I could actually, once I join it up and have it going across, I could actually just have like a, a city going through here on one whole level. Oh, I could do it on this level too. Like this might be the modern since this shelf, the top shelf here is a little taller. This one's not as tall, but most of the uh, old sets really aren't that tall. So I could actually just have them going all across here and then across here. So the other one I showed you that's not built yet, it's going to go right here. I just got to move all of the train stuff. So these shelves are um, two feet deep, four feet wide, which is, which is why I can't fit four across here because it ended up being 45 inches left and they're 40, a little over 48. Uh, they're 48 to here, then you got this little piece there. Oh, I also moved these, and the symmetry is really bothering me. So I went to eBay, and I'm going to solve that problem right there. <laughs> and no, these things are not cheap now. <laughs> but I'm using my eBay bucks. It was the first of the year, the eBay bucks I had accumulated. I'm going to use a portion of those to go to fill this gap. So this will be symmetrical, and I'll have exactly 12 of these things and then we can start the sorting process so these are the types of containers that'll fit on that bottom shelf down there uh, i'm going to put on the bottom shelf the bottom shelf is always i think a good place to put things that you will get to less frequently <laughs> because it's a little harder to get to the things on the bottom so that's why i'm thinking about uh, putting that stuff there so while i was at uh, costco we did pick up the um some more containers. I got some large ones, uh, which I'm going to use at least one of those for storing some of the 9 volt sets that do not have boxes like this one. So I'm going to take this set apart, put it in bags, and have the instructions um, separate that I'll likely put in a binder. And I'm going to have it in this container. Uh, these we could picked up four of them at Costco. I'm going to put it in the container. And uh, try to keep track of things that way, grouping things by theme. And speaking of trains, the uh, probably my, my number one most wanted set now is set 138, electronic train. It has both the stop, forward, and reverse features. We did do a video a long time ago on set 118, which is also electronic train, but only, you can only do stop and go forward. So this one is highly wanted. And it's going to be very expensive. Uh, you're looking at $500 or more for a very tiny, tiny set. So, oh, what, two years ago I did a video, oh, well, almost two years ago. We had gone to Colorado, and I loved Colorado. I really want to move there. That's not, that's not a lie. I mean, we, we genuinely were starting to try to figure out what is the end game to move to Colorado perhaps after I retire or something like that. Just thoroughly love that state. But Because we went in February, so this is what, January. So February, two years ago, we were there, and I had done a haul video. When we went to the Lego store there in uh, Colorado Springs, I think is the area, general area where that Lego store, I can't remember for sure. Uh, but yeah, so somebody commented on that video, it's just like two years ago, and they said, um, you should go see the Garden of the Gods. And that is exactly what we did. <laughs> we went to that area. We went to the Garden of the Gods. I think we stopped there at the Lego store on the way home because when we were there in February, it got dark early. So you went and did all the things you wanted to do, the hikes and stuff while it was daylight. And then it was dark. Then we, on the way back, we went by the... The mall and so it's just interesting that he um commented on on that video and i do have the footage of some footage of the garden of the gods uh, just very spectacular scenery and this is just one place in colorado we did and it was in february i mean there's there's so many other things to see there's so many things that we wanted to see we couldn't get to uh, because some of the roads at the higher elevations were closed off but 
Uh, Colorado is a great state, very scenic, and it has a Lego store, so I could move there. And speaking of Lego stores, all right, so I did place an order January 1st. I not one of these people that had it and really feel like driving the, uh, over to the, the Lego store to pick up the new purchases. And I was quite surprised that there wasn't a lot of things that I wanted, but it took me a while to, to decide. When I knew one thing I wanted it was the police station. Uh, but a lot of the other stuff, there's one Star Wars set I wanted, and then two of the the, the flowers and the bonsai tree I wanted to get. And so I placed the one order, got, and you get the free item. When I went to go place any other orders, you don't get the free item anymore. But it still shows on the banner, so I don't know if they've limited that to one one per household. Maybe they have, uh, because it's been over 24 hours, and it still shows that promotion, but when you fill up the shopping cart, it's not there. So I'm like, and I've already purchased it. Or purchased enough to get it once so I used to do that like would place six or seven orders it, it, up to the six or seven orders to get the promotion as long as there were sets that I wanted to get so maybe there is Lego changed that or is it is that thing genuinely sold out I don't know so I'm gonna have to go up to the Lego store if it because that promotion runs for a few days at least almost a couple weeks I think so I'm gonna hopefully be able to run by there because I want to pick it just just a couple of things that I want to get that are new. But I was really kind of disappointed. And I may be one of the only people. <laughs> um, I don't like the new city sets. I don't like the city road bait plates. Maybe I'll, my opinion will change of that as I get them. But when I look at the set, it says it's $50. And I'm like, there's hardly anything there. That says not worth $50. Um, so city... I was already on the way out liking City, so don't like it. And then these, I just, I'll just wait, hope, hope for clearance or something. Uh, I do like anything Star Wars that's related to the Mandalorian. Uh, I, but some of the other stuff, I'm just gonna have to wait. I, I, ha I have no interest in Mario, and what else? What do I like? <laughs> Why don't they make new trains? Sad. I was like, I, I've, I've been doing a lot of train set, sets this month. I'm going to be doing more this month, looking at some train sets that I don't think I've looked at on this channel before. And Lego just doesn't do much with trains. But they, again, you can't please everybody. But I, I was just thinking about that uh, when we were talking about going to the store in Colorado, how... You know, I can always find stuff that I want, but with all this new stuff, uh, fortunately, it saved me a lot of money because uh, <laughs> I didn't buy a lot of stuff this time around. But anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching this video, and thank you, Bob and Amy and Emma, for uh, sending me the picture, and I'm glad you were able to complete your uh, minifigure, the buildable, what do they call that set? <laughs> The minifigure sculpture, Lego minifigure sculpture. Uh, mine was called So Stupid that uh, I don't really call them that much anymore. <laughs> and there, there, there's a story uh, behind why we called them So Stupid. But anyway, thank you so much, uh, everybody. And we'll do another one of these tomorrow. See you guys. Bye.